so good good morning everyone so let's discuss another lead code problem which is problem number 28 okay. and the problem is find the index of the first occurrence in a string find the index of the first occurrence in a string so this is what you should think of so given a two string needle and haystack so given two string strings needle and haystack return the index of the first occurrence of needle in a haystack or minus one if needle is not part of the haystack so for example uh, shared bust but sad haystack string is sad but sad and needle string is sad the first occurrence please note that you have to find the first occurrence so something like a substring finding a substring in a string and it will return the first one okay now what are the thought you are getting from here like what is in your intuition in this case so something is i mean <coughs> substring searching right substring searching in a given string Mm, it's not prefix string please understand that this is sub string so it can lie anywhere in this so this is not the try case but what is this how you will able to finish this problem is using a rolling hash concept okay so you just have to start rolling hash concept okay and yeah so are you sure so yeah so let's try to understand the through the example first i mean if you have any confusion please uh, go through the example let's go through the example example one so it is saying that you have a needle needle string which is sad and you have a haystack haystack is sad but sad In this case, it is, it is very fortunate that you will get the same thing uh, very early spot. Otherwise, what you have to do is you just take a first three letter, compare one by one, or maybe this hash code of prepare the hash code, prepare the hash code, and compare with hash code of um, needle. Okay, there are two cases possible. After that. So this is one, two. After that, there are there are two cases possible. A to A is when 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 your substring. So after that there are two cases possible so sorry uh, there are two cases possible and those cases are what what are the cases can you elaborate that case so let me think on it can we elaborate on that uh, yeah so i can and these fundamentally these two cases are one is where your <coughs> you found you found no match then 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 you have to proceed you have to proceed forward step by step step by step and and repeat same either you reached either you reached the end or or you found the you found the right candidate so if you don't match and this part is if you found the match if you found 
equals hash code then you need to check the exact string now uh, please note here that most of the candidate most of the I mean, learner may say that if hash code will match it means that string will match or some string you found but ideally this is this may be correct but not exactly correct why because hash code I mean can be same for two different sub string and that is what the collision concept is right <laughs> if you if you remember the collision concept in hash this is what the collision concept is all about so there is a possibility of collision also that's why to make sure to make doubly sure that you found the right substring you have to be very careful while comparing and once you find the compare you just proceed further if you find the i mean if you find the hash code matching hash code matching then you just iterate and check their each character one by one and if that is also i mean exact match then you will say that okay i found it and then in that case once you found it what, what is your role here to in return the first character index where you found now let me go through the example right so like uh, this sad when you start finding say for example sad has just theoretically assume that it's its hash code is 54 just theoretically i'm saying that when i try to build the hash code on the same using the same concept i will see that 54 is here right so this 54 and this 54 are equal so we can start comparing s s this is true a a this is also true and d and d this is also true wow i so all are all comparison are true all comparison are true and so found return index starting index right index means a starting index so return a starting index this will be the definite concept here and um, i'm pretty sure that you can uh, definitely understand this point very sure exactly what i am trying to say convey you okay so let's proceed the next step do i have any other example which will give you some other things yeah so let's see this one example two which is uh, again how do you do you just start the both string and i would say like example two and um a stick so a stick stick and this value is read code okay and then middle is something like leto so now now if you compare you can see that there is no matching right there is no matching and so minus one will be returned from here okay so this is another such example now <coughs> constraint is the length of a stick or length of needle could be minimum i mean is i mean their range is, their range of uh, length is minimum one and maximum 10 to the power four now imagine if you go for hash code to the 10 to the power four this value is very big right very very big so What if I will use substring here? So I don't know. Do you need it? So, but this problem is one liner. If I allow to take the string, so Mm. so i don't want to do anything here right 